In today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with me live while I cook in the kitchen from start to finish. Now, those of you who are longtime viewers of the channel know that this is not my normal kitchen. I have moved. A lot has changed since my last video, which kind of explains why it's been so long since my last post. That being said, if you like the style of today's footage, please let me know in the comments below. Now, without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. Guys, hi, hello, and welcome back. Today we are going to be making everyone's favorite meal, breakfast. We are making an omelet. As you can see here, I've laid out the ingredients, and this is a two-parter, because not only are we making an omelet, but we're also testing out this new pan. This is a Tramontina Pro Series 8-inch on Amazon. Link is in the description below. I really like this pan. It's a non-stick. It's very versatile, and uh, so far I've been using it for about two weeks, and I really like it, so let's get into it. We can see we have the heat on, about a medium, medium-high heat, and we're going to go straight in dry with the mushrooms. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why are you putting the mushrooms in all dry in the pan? The reason is because if you listen very carefully, we want to remove the moisture from the mushrooms. And if you start putting salt in or olive oil now, you're not going to cook the mushrooms as quickly. It's going to be a slower process, and we want to eat as soon as possible because it's breakfast. Thus far, we want to get that water out of these mushrooms as soon as possible. So just let it sit and do its thing. And in the meantime, we will put some salt and pepper in our eggs. And go back to our mushrooms. See, they're starting to reduce a little bit, starting to get a little bit of color on there. Take our spatula and move them around a bit. You can see, we're not quite there, but they're doing their thing, and we're happy. In with the oil. Now we're starting to cook. I'm going to take a nice knob of butter and we'll shove that in as well. So almost instantly, you can see the mushroom starting to brown as soon as there's a little bit of lubricant in it. here to the our ingredients. Today, you're really just going to use whatever's in the fridge. I'm using some spinach. We're going to wilt this down with the mushrooms. We're also going to be using the whites of a green onion as well as the green of the green onion. We're going to put this in now, shortly after our olive oil and butter went in, because we want to cook down that onion flavor, that harshness. Make it a little sweet and harmonize it. You can see the mushrooms are really coming together. And a lot of that is due to the fact that we put them in dry and allow all the water to escape. So now they're going to cook a lot quicker. This is looking very good. At this point, you can add some salt and pepper. You can season as you go. These are looking beautiful. Another few minutes here. I'm going to go in with spinach, let that wilt very nicely. So we're going to quickly remove them onto a pan temporarily. Here and get ready for our eggs. Decent little knob of butter. You might be able to hear um, this is my cooking assistant, Milton. Milton? He's waiting for cheese, which is going to happen, just be patient. Back to our pan, make sure we have some heat in there, and we're gonna go straight in with the eggs before the butter even melts. We don't have time to wait for the butter to melt. And in. Now immediately, because the pan is hotter than you think, we want to get this moving. Let's get around, let's get around, incorporate the butter. Now I'm picking up the pan and I'm moving it. 
scoop everything around. I don't want the eggs to sit and I don't want them to become overcooked in certain spots. So it's very important at this stage that you really keep it moving. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Back on the heat. Edges, and this is going to come together amazingly quick. You can see it already starting to solidify. So just a few more seconds, and right when it's there, you want to take your pan and shake the eggs while they're still a little runny in all of the crevasses. And now, if you went a little too far, don't worry, don't panic. It doesn't have to be perfect at this stage. You can take your spatula and you can just kind of caress the eggs into those little pockets where there, where there's some pan showing. And that's totally fine. You can do that. There are no rules here. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they're making eggs that they think they messed up and then they just kind of give up and start over. But you shouldn't do that. You could almost always salvage whatever you have going here. So look at that. Beautiful, nice and fluffy. Now at this point, we want to add some fresh tomatoes. Because I want, I want a fresh bite. I want the tomatoes to kind of bring everything else to life with the spinach and the mushrooms. I'm going to add the, the green part of the green onion as well. Just an extra, throw this out. And then back in with our mushrooms and spinach. So, we're making a breakfast burrito. So we're going to be needing a flour tortilla. This flour tortilla, it's okay, it's not great. What's going to improve the flour tortilla is if we warm it up by simply placing it on top of our eight inch pan. Now that's gonna do two things. It's going to allow the eggs to continue to cook and it's going to warm this tortilla and allow it to be a little bit more pliable. We're also now going to cut some cheese. I'm using Yalsberg, but honestly use whatever you have, whatever you wanna use, that's what you should use. I'm using Yalsberg because I have it and I like it. I like it a lot. So we're going to just, morning that Milton gets very excited. Because Milton loves Jellsburg cheese, don't you, Milton? <laughs> just remove the wax here, and just give it a couple of cups. So now we give Milton, because he's being such a good boy this morning. We can give you a little cheese. Okay, and let's get this starting to melt on here. So we will just place it on top, like so. That should be good. I don't know if you want to overdo it. I'm going to put one more piece in there. And we'll throw this back on for just a few minutes while the eggs finish cooking. And we are in very good shape. We are looking good. We've got extra cheese here. So we're going to eat it. I'm going to give it a little bit more to A little more to Mm hmm. Okay. Now is the best time start thinning up some of the stuff because we have about a minute or two before we want to start folding those eggs. We can put some stuff away. We can get out our next thing, hot sauce, my favorite, cholula. We call that a morning hot sauce, not quite an evening hot sauce. And we're also going to get our avocado. Avocado, we're just going to cut it right in half, like so, around the pit, around the center. And then, to remove the pit, just hit it right there with a the knife and then twist the knife and it'll pop out. But we're not going to do that right now because I'm only going to need about half of this. So we'll just run our knife down like this. And with a spoon, just simply scoop out. Beautiful. All right, it's now time to start folding our eggs. And we do that with our trusty spatula. You want to remove, look at that, it just comes right, this is why I love this pan, it just comes right off. Not sponsored, by the way. Just get your spatula in between the eggs and the pan, and we're going to fold it over. Now the cheese, you might be thinking the cheese didn't melt yet. We're not done. It's going to melt. Okay, so we're just going to fold the eggs over, and we're going to, this is a, a tri-fold, and if you look at the outside here on this side, it's, there's no brown. 
The eggs are cooked, but they're not overcooked. They're still a beautiful yellow here, and that's really what you want. Now I'm gonna flip this over one last time. So let's hold it in place, and boom. And look, it doesn't need to be perfect. If you mess this up a little bit, that's okay. Boom, exactly what you want, right there. We're gonna take our avocado with our hands and just place it onto the tortilla, which is still warm. Go straight in with the Cholula. You can get a little artistic with it. I like to go back and forth, make this motion. Boom, 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 boom. And use as little, you can omit this if you don't like hot stuff, obviously, but if you don't like hot stuff, you're missing out. And uh, you're gonna want it. Get our pan and we're just gonna tilt it and drop the egg softly onto the tortilla. I'm just gonna we wipe the pan out, turn the heat back up to about a medium high. We're gonna put that on there, let it get hot. In the meantime, we're going to roll this bad boy up. So we're going to cool. And again, if you don't if this doesn't look perfect the first time you do it, don't sweat it. It's about flavor, not about looks. I'm gonna fold in the edges, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna eat this mushroom, because it fell out. And there you have a breakfast burrito. And this is arguably the most important part of the breakfast burrito building process. We're going to now put it back into the pan to brown the tortilla and give it some texture. So just simply drop it in. You might hear a little bit of a sizzle, that's okay. And just let it do its thing. And while it's doing its thing, now is my favorite time to catch up on some dishes. All right, and you can see just barely starting to smoke. So now is the time that we're going to take this with our spatula, boop, flip it over, and that is what you want. This is a beautiful brown that's going to give you some texture. And it's also melting the cheese that's inside and making everything just delicious. Okay, at this point we can turn off the heat. And we're gonna just drop this buddy on our cutting board. And as you can see, what we want to do now is leave it alone and let it rest for approximately three to five minutes. Okay, so our burrito has been resting for approximately four and a half minutes and what you see here, if you look in, this is why, this is why we toasted the outside. It's going to create a lot of texture. It's going to make the whole thing really come alive. So let's cut this thing open and you can see what's going on. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, didn't cut it all the way through. One more time, we're gonna cut it open. And here we are. Now you can see we have perfectly cooked egg around the outside. We have avocado on the top. A little bit of a layer of hot sauce if you look right there. Mushrooms, we have the spinach some fresh tomato, and a little bit of green onion. It is now time to plate and enjoy. Thank you, as always, for watching this episode of Chad Makes Breakfast, and I will see you again very soon.